Luke chapter 22, verses 7 through 45. Hello, Rehoboth. Uh, this is Deacon Charles White. I am so thrilled for the opportunity today to reflect on Holy Week, but especially on Maldi Thursday. Now, Maldi Thursday or Holy Thursday, as some may refer to it as, uh, is a day during the Holy Week that commemorates the Last Supper and the washing of the feet as Jesus spent this last time uh, with the 12 apostles. Now, it was on that Thursday uh, that he said this commandment to his disciples, a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. Now, what this commandment did was to raise the bar for love as Jesus sacrificed met all of our needs, giving us a spiritual life, and most of all, forgiving us of all of our sins. Now let's reflect on the events of the day of Maldi Thursday. Jesus invited the 12 to the upper room. As they sat around the table, Jesus said, I looked forward to eating this Passover with you, my disciples or apostles, I'm ad living on that one. Before he were to suffer and that he would not eat the Passover again until he returned to earth. Symbolic of the Last Supper with the apostles, we do communion. We break the bread, we eat it, we take the cup, we drink it. And Jesus said, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And that's what we do with our community. Now, after the meal was over, Jesus rose up. He poured water into a basin. He grabbed a towel and placed it on his arms. He washed and he dried the feet of his disciples. Jesus was preparing to be the sacrifice. But it wasn't just as simple as washing feet. When Jesus approached Simon Peter to wash his feet, Simon Peter said, no. Have you ever said no to the Lord when he asked you to do something? But Jesus responded and Jesus said, unless I wash your feet, you have no part of me. And so to that, Simon Peter said, hey, don't just wash my feet, wash my hands, wash my head as well. Because Simon Peter didn't want to be separated from the Lord, our God. Are you willing not to be separated from God? But later, Jesus told his disciples, he says, I need to go in prayer. He got up, he went a distance away from the disciples and he went to God, his father in prayer. And he prayed to the Lord and he said, take this cup away from me. But always what Jesus does, he says, not my will, but thy will be done. And that's what we ought to do as Christians. That's what Maldi Thursday is all about, is helping us to get back and to understand that we need to obey the command that the Lord our God gave us, to love one another. But Jesus got up, he went back to where the disciples was. He got back and he found the disciples asleep. He found them asleep. So we need to obey our Father's command and we need to not go to sleep on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen, church.